head the LinkedIn. Now my message today is about making videos or making any kind of content or any kind of broadcast style communications that you might have. And it's this concept of an audience of one. If you struggle to write about your business and your offering or talk on video like this, I know it's a problem for a lot of people. It definitely was for me and I just had to brute force it and get over my kind of scaredy catness at the start and as well as the technical side of things. But thinking about this notion of an audience of one, that's my rant for today. That's the point I want to make today. Having an audience of one. If you think about your ideal client avatar or even an actual person or company, a real one, that represents who you're trying to communicate with and keep them in mind when you're recording videos or on a podcast or writing emails or blog posts or anything like that, just keep in mind this notion of an audience of one. You're talking in a conversational, easy style in a way that people can understand and it's humanified, it's probably a word, and it's relatable, which is very, very important. Too many people get caught up on how they should write things and how they should sound, and they don't really let their personality and their human nature come through. Now, depending on your brand, this may or may not be an issue, but I've definitely found that the more that I've let my flaws and my real self come out, particularly in these videos, the better the response has been, and part of that is down to this notion of an audience of one. So my rant for today and something for you to think about is, who is that person or that business? Who is your audience of one? That's it for today. Take care, LinkedIn.